Hello everyone, welcome to another Quad Education Test Prep Fundamentals video. My name is Tom and today we're talking about a very particular kind of math question that will appear on 100% of the SATs that you take, and most of the ACTs as well. It's something that upon first glance can be kind of confusing, but after you know how to do it, you can see that it just involves some parallel lines. All right, let's take a look. Okay, once again, I'm saying you're absolutely going to see this kind of question, but I'm also being kind of secretive with what kind of question it is. So. Uh, we'll continue that trend by asking this question. What does it mean when two equations have no solutions? Well, to answer that question, I've sort of illustrated that visually here for you. What you can see here is there are two straight lines, and we can see that they are parallel. So we have parallel lines drawn here. And in addition to the idea of solutions, we'll say, well, what does a solution at all look like visually? Well, in previous videos, I've explained that a solution is when two lines intercept. And when we put those two definitions together, we can see that equations with no solutions will be parallel. Well, then the next question is, what would happen if there were infinitely many solutions? So no solutions look like this, one solution would look like that, two solutions would look like that, three solutions might look like that. And so with infinitely many solutions, what that would look like is a line that intercepts at every single point. In other words, the same line. And so algebraically, how might that look? Well, well, if we were to write two lines with the same slope and the same intercept in the standard y equals mx plus b form, it'd be pretty straightforward. It'd be y equals x plus 2 and y equals x plus 2. And that wouldn't really be worth talking about. But what we'll see here in this context is they won't always present this to us in the traditional y equals mx plus b format. They'll actually present it to us in standard form. And standard form, just for review, looks like this, ax plus by equals c format. And so if we were in that format, it'd be something like 2x plus 3y equals 6 and 4x plus 6y equals 12. Because it's exactly the same thing. I've just multiplied everything by 2. And sticking with the rules of algebra, we know that these are equivalent. So just to review all those terms, because I just did throw a bit at you here, what does it mean to be parallel? Well, parallel lines have the same slope, but a different intercept. So something like y equals x plus 2 would be parallel to y equals x plus 3, because we can prove with algebra that something plus 2 will never be the same as something plus 3. And visually, I just showed that that's what was going on. We have one equation that is never the other. And we take away x from both sides here, we can say pretty confidently that 2 is not 3. Those are separate numbers. So that's to say parallel. And then what does it mean when two lines intercept? Well, that's just when they cross. And parallel lines do not cross. So what would it mean if two lines never intercepted? They would be parallel. How many solutions would that have? It would have none. There would be no solutions, no intercepts. So that's important for later. Um, and then what about infinitely many solutions? That would mean that we have one line stacked on top of the exact same line. So it's intercepting at every possible point, which is harder to visualize because you sort of have this line and then the same line. And in order to see that same line, you have to kind of necessarily break the rule. But uh, I think hopefully this, this helps. And so moving on to how this will be presented to you, unfortunately, they won't just say, hey, which line is parallel to this line we're giving you? They won't make it that easy. Uh, but fortunately enough, they will ask about this topic basically the same way every single time. So here's an example. Uh, the equation above has no solutions. And so when we see no solutions, that must mean parallel lines, which the following cannot be the value of b. And what we have here is 2 times 3x plus 4 equals 6x plus b. And so what we need to find is, first of all, we need to distribute this 2 out so that we can have uh, 6x plus 8 equals 6x plus what? And if we think about these in terms of a line, we know that for parallel lines, they must have the same slope but a different intercept. And right here is the slope is 6. And that's to say that b can be anything except or 8. So what cannot be b, b cannot be 8. And that is the way that we solve these. We just want to effectively say, okay, what satisfies the parallel line uh, stipulation for this situation? Okay, and hopefully that makes some sense. I think honestly the best way to get good at these is just to do two or three of them just to see what they are in context. 
Um, they're really, in my opinion, not that complicated when you know what you're looking for. The first time you see these, uh, they are kind of intimidating. You know, no solutions. What does that even mean? Because all you do in high school math is look for solutions. And now they're telling you to find when it doesn't have one. Uh, so we have two practice problems in here as usual. Go ahead and try the first one and we'll take a look at that. Okay, let's see what we've got. So we have a system of equation here and we say in the system of equations above, z is a constant. And whenever you see constant on this test, it just means z is a number uh, and not an input or an output. For which of the following values of z does the system have no solution? And what that means is we need to make these parallel uh, what I've done here to make this slightly more difficult is reverse the sign, and we say we have 8v there, negative 4v there, so I think probably the best thing we can do is multiply this guy right here by negative 2. And so negative 2 times negative 4v is 8v, and that's going to be minus 10w equals negative 12. And then here we have 8v minus 10w equals z and just like the question that we just did we know that z cannot be negative 12 and so that's our answer for that one and moving on to our next one here see what you can do with this one all right let's take a look so we have 4a plus 6b equals c and negative 2a minus 3b equals 17 and they ask us for what value of c does the equation above have infinitely many solutions so instead of looking for parallel lines here we are looking to make the same line two times and similar to last time, in order to get from negative 2a to 4a, we're going to multiply that by negative 2. So we're going to have 4a plus 6b equals c. And we distribute our negative in here, and we're going to get 4a plus 6b equals negative 34. And so in this case, our c value, what this needs to be right here for these to be exactly the same line, is going to be negative 34. Okay, that's it for this video. Remember, no solutions versus infinitely many solutions just means parallel line versus line stacked on top of itself. You will absolutely see a question like this on the SAT, so don't be surprised when you see it and be ready to use these solutions so that you can get through it pretty quickly. Anyway, if you found this material useful, we hope that you'll like and share the video and subscribe to Quad Education. If you require any additional tutoring, please reach out to us. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.